<laughs> afternoon, everybody. So today I want to talk a little bit about forgiveness. Um, forgiveness is a very important thing for us as Christians to do, right? It, it helps heal our soul. It helps heal our hearts. We forgive and we move forward. The Bible teaches us to forgive 70 times 70. Um, you know, God has forgiven us for, for our sins. Uh, he has shown us mercy and he has shown us grace. And as Christians, we need to extend that to others. And sometimes, you know, I, I lack in that. Um, sometimes somebody will say something to me that touches me so personally where I just, I have a hard time forgiving that person. Or somebody commits some kind of action against me that causes it to where I don't want to forgive that person. But as a Christian, I have to. And it's very difficult. Um, you get that with your relationships as far as with your family, your relatives, your loved ones. Sometimes you're... You know, your, your siblings can do something to you and you may have a hard time forgiving them. Sometimes a comment can be made to you that you find that is completely inappropriate or out of line. And, and you know, you have to learn to forgive that person. There are times where I was working and I had a job and, you know, this person took credit for my work. And they got promoted, they got the raise where I didn't. And I was really angry about that. And I approached the person and I had spoke to him and I I pretty much called him out on it. You know, and I was like, dude, why are you taking credit for my work? You know, you're making it seem like you're doing this kind of work and you're not doing it. And it took me a very long time to forgive this person. Now, remember, if you guys don't know this, I just came to Christ three and a half years ago and this happened about five, six, seven years ago. Um, and it was very difficult for me to overcome and forgive that person eventually. But then I started looking at it in a different aspect and I was like, you know, they promoted this person. Well, now this person is on their own. They're not around me and they will see that this person doesn't even do what they think he does. And so that kind of works for my benefit. So I let it go. I was like, you know, God's going to take care of that. Um, that was something that was really difficult for me to do. Uh, I remember a time where I was offended by an action that one of my family members had done and it took me about a good seven years to get over it. And that's a long time to hold on to that unforgiveness and, and my heart and my being and my soul started looking at this person very negatively where I had a lot of antipathy for the person. I didn't care for the person. I didn't like the person. Didn't want to be around the person. The sight of even seeing the person angered me so much to where it was almost borderline hatred. And, you know, the, these were things that I was doing. And then when I came to Christ, you know, I just realized that forgiveness is so key. It's not for them as it is for you. You heal, you move on. You know, you let them know like, hey, it's not that big of a deal. It's done. It's over. You know, and even today as a Christian, I do still struggle with forgiveness, but I feel so much better when I forgive. I feel so much lighter when I forgive, like the burden is not on me, all that upsetness and that anger or, or that hurt or that pain, it just goes away. And you can tell when someone is truly forgiven a person by their conduct and how they represent themselves around them. If you feel the need where you still have to continue to talk about certain things, you truly have not forgiven anybody. You're still harboring these ill feelings. And it's not healthy. It's not a good place to be as a person or even as a Christian. Um, you know, I see a lot of that sometimes within the community I live in, uh, people that I overhear certain conversations, um, some family things where, you know, I'm not going to talk about some of that stuff because it's private. Um, you see some of that stuff on YouTube where, uh, you know, people have conversations and, and they get angry with the person and they haven't forgiven that person. And it's still, you can still see it because when they talk about it or they talk, it still is kind of a reference in their current conversations. What happened, you know, six months ago, a year ago, or two months ago, you know, the person still has not genuinely forgiven anybody and there's, they feel the need to continue to talk about it because they're so hurt by it. Um, co-workers you know where a co-worker might do something wrong to you as i said before a job i had 
this coworker took responsibility for what I was doing and made it seem like he did it. And then eventually they found out that he didn't do it. I lost um, a raise behind it. I lost being promoted higher because of it. It affected me financially. So I had a real issue with that. But I had to learn to forgive because all it was doing was really just eating me up. I was getting angry. I was going to work and I was seeing that person. I would get so mad. It would mess up my entire day. So I had to learn to forgive and just move on for the healthiness of me. So I encourage anybody out there today who absolutely listens to this message or hears this message, think about people that you should forgive. Or if there's somebody in your life right now that you need to forgive, forgive them. Pray and ask God to heal your heart so you're allowed to forgive. Because when we're in our feelings and we stay in our feelings, we can't get past that. And as Christians, that could be a very dangerous place, especially if we don't want to forgive. Especially if we feel like somebody has said something or done something to us that has overtly offended us or has upset us. We don't want to let go. But as Christians, we need to. So this message is reaching out to anybody who has who feels like you know they they want to forgive but they don't know how to just pray. For those of you that know you need to forgive but are still having issues, pray. And I just ask God and I pray to God right now that everybody who may have something going on in their life that may be struggling with forgiveness that you can find a way to forgive that person and let God heal your heart, let him heal your spirit so you can move forward with your walk with God because if you don't forgive, it will hinder your walk with God. And we want to progress, we want to move forward, we want to continue growing in God and we want to be wise and we want to be smart and we want to be loving. So right now, let's just pray and ask God to help us forgive those who have offended us or have done something to us where we're having a hard time getting over it. Okay? I love you guys. Stay in the Word. Read your Bibles. God bless and stay in love. We'll talk again soon.